So someone asked me why we should look for monsters um, that might not exist. Monsters figure into the deepest depths of the human psyche. The unknown is a craving mankind has little ability to overcome. Lurking at every recess of sentient intelligence is doubt, self-questioning, and fear. Biology suffers no such burden. Nature cares nothing for ethics, religion, existence, or love. Nature, however, absolutely favors beauty, survival, joy, celebration of creation. Life is exquisitely resilient, will always triumph, and will always and forever confound and checkmate the best of Homo sapiens. Humanity builds its cities, raises its sacred groves, sets aside ridiculously small slices of wetlands to please the wealthy aesthetic. And if tadpoles, salamanders, insects, plants, fungus, birds, mammals, invertebrates, algae, fish, and anything living is in the way, well, destruction is always the agreement. We devise ways to genetically alter and wipe out mosquitoes with no regard to the life that consumes them. Monsters are as necessary to humanity as Greek mythology or pyramids. They are the root of our ignorance and the nutrition to our growing. Man weaves a comfortable nest for only itself. There is no room, there is no quarter, there is no place welcoming in this entirely evil edifice for anything organic. Hope, however, finds a way, like dandelions in the sidewalk gaps, like squirrels in Manhattan, like condors in Los Angeles, like seeds of hope worldwide. Monsters are as quintessential, as vital to man as water, air, fire, and earth, and absolutely requisite for our spirit. It pervades war, race, and lack of compassion. They embrace respect, honor, abundance, and always have a place for the hapless, helpless, small, as well as the mighty, ferocious, and huge. Monsters serve us well in our deep lakes and dense forests, our winding, meandering swamps. Daily, hourly, and constantly, these places dwindle into square lots of desertification and barren biology. Until there is no mystery left, no thing unknown or labeled, perilous is this doom, this invasive path is a creative toxicity. There is no time left to save nature. Every blade of grass, every kelp, every butterfly, every pregnant mama, Bigfoot, monster of any kind needs quiet, needs sanctuary, needs man to just back off for a while. So maybe soon we can coexist and talk. Man is the single greatest invasive species on earth the only reason nature is out of balance is because man has no balance. So why then pursue the imaginary? Why track the elusive and potentially non-existent? Why dive into the cold, dark, murky waters and to what end the chase? The answer, as apparently gossamer as dragonfly wings, iridescent and misty flight is clear. If we don't have monsters, we don't have the magic that's left in us. And if we lose that, we lose everything. <laughs>